for any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check out G2A.com. And if you need any Ultimate Team coins, then head over to you, FIFA. The code CHEZ will get you a discount on both sites, and all links are down below. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 45 of the Career Mode Road to Glory here on FIFA 15 with Cambridge United. We start today with a game in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. This is actually leg one in the double-legged area final for the Johnson's Paint Trophy. The winners of this two-legged affair between ourselves and Birmingham City will go through to the national final at Wembley Stadium to play for the Johnson's Paint Trophy itself. So this is an incredibly large game for us and of course the money that we could earn from winning such a competition or at least progressing through to at least the final, would go towards bringing us in some better players in the squad. Because in the last episode, of course, we're desperately trying to get the board to give us as much money as we possibly can. But every figure I go to them with, they say, we can't afford to give you the funds. So we're trying still to get them to give us at least just anything for this January transfer window. But of course, in yesterday, or not yesterday, that you'll be seeing this on Wednesday. In Monday's episode, we uh, actually had a game against a side that was second in League One, sat behind us as we were top against uh, Barnsley in the FA Cup. And Birmingham, obviously, we've played them numerous times this season already in League One. Actually played very well in the first game. We got a 3-0 win and then drew 2-2 in the second game. So we know that we can get results against them. The question was, can we now do it in the Cup as well as in the League competition? Quezia Pai racing away. He has to put that into the back of the net. So disappointed with him in in that situation so many times in this series Quezia Pai has been deadly in situations like that but today just not finding the uh, the form that he needs Harrison Dunk though breaking down the left hand side decided to just go for it and what a decision it was fantastic finish from Harrison Dunk gives us a 1-0 lead in the 32nd minute great turn inside I thought about standing up for Tom Elliott because they've put together such a good partnership with the balls whipped in from that left hand side throughout the entirety of this series not just this season but this time Harrison decided to go solo and it paid off 1-0 Cambridge now Stephen Gleason's on the ball though for uh, Birmingham as we head into the second half great save from Coppola though but only as far as Green stands it up there's Wood underneath it finds uh, Caddis on the edge of the box drills it towards the bottom corner but it goes wide so I made a couple of changes or a singular change rather to, uh, to try and freshen things up in the middle and we welcome back Riku Ring from injury he's back into the uh, the fray now after about three months out I think unfortunately with a broken ankle so he's involved now Chika Wee tries to win the header he's the smallest man on the pit and uh, it drops Dunk to Downing on the edge of the box he's going to try and get it back to Harrison Dunk as he finds Tom Elliott into Riku Ring himself who draws a good save out of the goalkeeper but unfortunately we aren't able to get it into the back of the net and as we welcome Riku Ring back from injury we lose Tom Elliott our top goal scorer so far this season is going to have to come off and unfortunately it's quite a serious injury as well we'll find out a little bit later on what the actual injury is but you can see him go down there he was holding his ankle so uh, real big fears that he's going to be a big miss for us but unfortunately for Birmingham they weren't able to take advantage of that and uh, we stayed at 1-0 so we win the first leg we'll have to travel up to St Andrews to play the second leg in the next couple of episodes but Unfortunately, there is the news confirmation that Tom Elliott, our top goal scorer, has broken his ankle and will be out for three months. That's pretty much the rest of the league season, so our promotion push is really going to take a knock, unless, of course, we can get some extra money. Now, we got the tournament prize money here from the Barnsley game in the previous episode, finally come through, and 60 grand actually makes a big difference to our transfer budget. You'll see me change the budget here. We currently have £1,500 as our wage budget, as it gives us an extra £1,100 for our wage budget, which will tr open up the funds to be able to bring in at least one new player. I'm still asking the board for some more money though if we possibly can get just anything extra. We'll ask for 150k I think here now in uh, this particular request although uh, whether they'll actually give me it or not we'll have to wait and see but uh, we're actually are now offering contracts to a couple of players that uh, we mentioned in the transfer targets video a couple of days ago. You guys gave me loads of suggestions in the comments section but unfortunately about 99.7% of them were players that just have unrealistic wage ambitions for us. We cannot afford someone that uh, has higher wages of two or three grand. And there were suggestions like Yanazai. Someone said, get Yanazai. He's only on 40 grand a week. My entire squad isn't on 40 grand a week combined, let alone one player. We have to look at players at this level, unfortunately. At this particular stage of the series, we have to uh, be very, very frugal with the pennies that we have. And fingers crossed, we will be able to bring 
bring someone in. But right now, we'll have to wait and see what happens with those contract deals because we have another game, this time in League One, and hoping to improve our league position, although, or at least extend our advantage at the top because our league position can't actually be improved because we're still top. But uh, we did lose our first ever game this season, unfortunately, in the year uh, in the league in the last episode against Notts County. So wanting to bounce back from that here away from home against uh, Rotherham. But they are a very good size. You will definitely recognise the name Matt Darbyshire up top. Playing a 4-1-4-1 formation though, which isn't necessarily the most uh, adventurous or most forward thinking of formations. But still, they have the quality in their side to cause various different problems but we too have the quality in our side to cause them different problems Adam Armstrong comes in for the now injured Tom Elliott and hopefully he'll be able to step up to the plate he has actually scored a few good goals for us so far this season so fingers crossed he uh, will uh, be able to fill the void left by Tom Elliott but it's actually Rotherham that are going to get the first chance of the game in the opening five minutes the drop here to Frecklington good shot well saved by Coppola and oh, Connor Newton really should put that into the back of the net it's a glorious opportunity open goal in front of him and he puts it into the side netting obviously I was delighted that that actually happened but I'm sure he'll be uh, devastated that he wasn't able to uh, to put Rotherham 1-0 up but they definitely had the better of the opening few chances you can see here another one Matt Darbyshire gets it into the back of the net but you can already tell the fact that the crowd aren't celebrating and uh, the scoreline hasn't changed in the top left Matt Darbyshire was offside so we stay 0-0 but two chances in the opening 10 minutes Rotherham were really on it here and it was borderline the decision perhaps half a yard off at most so you can see though Rotherham continue to be the side that are pressing forward here and uh, just 20 minutes into the game now Pringle through to Derby so it gets it across to Frecklington across to Green and only a smart reaction save from Coppola keeps them out but this time in the Notts County game the other day it was already 2-2 in the 28th minute but right now it's 0-0 as we head into the second half Adam Armstrong going on a great run here dances past one cheeky little uh, kind of body faint to get past the second and that shot was headed towards the bottom corner it needed a good save down low by Lotes but unfortunately that save was forthcoming but we're going to get a chance here as it drops on the edge of the box to Donaldson gives it a whack from 25 yards hits the post and it comes back out and the goalkeeper gets there before Armstrong can follow it up and uh, we stay at 0-0 we're in stoppage time now I see the man on the edge of the box waiting for it it's Ivan Santillan our Peruvian left back scored a banger for us a couple of videos ago and unfortunately just a yard wide with his finesse shot from the edge of the box this time around we stay nil nil we end nil nil a point from the game against Rotherham but a win in the first leg of the area final of the Johnson's Paint Trophy overall pleased with today's episode despite the fact that we've lost Tom Elliott now for a prolonged period of time still trying to nail down these contract talks they're uh, of course pre-contract talks for the start of next season I can't afford to bring anyone in on loan because there's no one available right now to help improve this year but if we can get someone on a pre-contract the same way we did with Michael Woods and with uh, with Paul Downing, our uh, main centre-back, then I'll be delighted. Of course, we're getting counter-offers from a lot of guys here. They want uh, as much money as they possibly can, and I want to give them as little money as I possibly can. But hopefully we'll be able to bring in two. If not, we'll just have to go all out and bring in one. But there's still plenty of time for the board to give us some extra money if they so wish. And we currently stay top as well, because Barnsley drew their game. So we're still exactly the same as we were with the top two as when, as when we started the, uh, the video, unless... or taking into account though the fact that Birmingham have closed the gap to uh, one point now as they won their game so we're 16 games to go in League One very tight with the top three bit of a gap down to fourth but obviously we want to get automatic promotion if we possibly can and that is the main aim so we'll be back on Friday with I think actually transfer deadline day so uh, definitely stick around for that drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss out on that video or anything else that uh, comes up on the channel over the next few days of course I do upload twice every every single day and stream daily as well over on twitch.tv so check my link to uh, to my Twitch in the description and uh, there's also links down there to Twitter, Instagram and Facebook if you want to follow me on any of those and uh, that will bring today's episode to a close check the channel page for anything you may have missed thank you for 45,000 subscribers and I'll see you next time